Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, Edwin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, I'm ready. So how was your day? Ah. Oh. Um, it was very nice. Uh, it, this day um, was easy. Not a lot of activities. Um, so so. Uh -huh. The day was uh, um, the, the work. Don't be um, uh, hard. So the, the, today the work was not too hard? Was not, uh, yes, was not too hard. Okay. And you teacher? What do you do? I'm a technician. Mm -hmm. A computer technician, a electronic a computer technician. technician. Computer, computer technician. technician, yes. Okay. So do you fix computers? Or you work in the network or in the server? What, what do you do? Um, we fix programs. Mm -hmm. Okay. For uh, for the banks, for the companies, for for Banco Agricola, um, we are we are the field support. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good, right? Yes. Always very busy. Yes. Okay. We have a lot of work in this day because the pandemic. Oh, okay. More people use. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. And Cecilia, how was your day? fine thank you and you Edwin I'm fine thank you Cecilia what did you do today Cecilia um I went to war but first early I went to the hospital because I needed some blue um, studies examine the sangre. yes some blood tests oh Yes, this I need because the Tuesday I have a date with my doctor. Ah, okay. And are you okay? Are you sick? No, no, I'm not sick. It's just routine. Ah, okay. Good, good. Mm -hmm. This is yes. important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm okay. Ah, okay. That's good. This is the important part. Ready to learn. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm glad that you are on time. Congratulations. I know sometimes it's difficult, but I am happy that you are here today. And we are going to begin. Uh, first, we're going to review a little bit from yesterday. Do you remember the topic from yesterday? Yes. Cecilia, what do you remember? Uh, we studied for words, so to neither and neither. And we talk with our partner and we do, uh, we did a um, quiz, quiz or something? No, no. Quiz. Mm -hmm. quiz. Okay. And we were practice about this work with all the students. Okay. We, as I remember. Excellent, all right, perfect. And Carla, do you remember when we use so and to? 
Yes, in affirmative forms. Correct, in affirmative forms. And which is the, at the beginning, so or to? I don't remember, I think so. Correct, so is at the beginning and two is at the end. Very okay. good, good. And tell me, when do we use neither and either? Ah, tell me is in a party, okay, no problem. No. All right. <laughs> no problem. Fatima, when do we use neither and either? Uh, neither and either. Yes. Uh, when I agree with with someone, but this person uh, uh, express in negative form. Okay. And Fatima, what is at the beginning? Neither or either? Uh, neither. Neither. Very good. Neither is at the beginning and either is at the end. This is only for negative when you are with negative, okay? And so in two is that you agree, but in positive, okay? So today we're going to go ahead and continue studying and practice this grammar. First, we're going to listen and practice the pronunciation of the words. So here, listen and practice. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Okay, so the important is just the pronunciation, right? I am too. The idea is at the end is the emphasis, right? Wherever you have the word. I do too, uh, so do I, I don't either, neither do I. Always, we're going to have to stress at the end of those words, okay? It's okay, the idea? Okay. So, everybody, let's try together. I do, too. I do, too. I do, too. Good. Okay, so do I. So, so do I. So do I. Mm -hmm. I don't either. I don't either. Neither do I. Neither, Neither do, do I. I. Exactly. That's the idea for our pronunciation. Now we're going to be using words such as would and will for requests. We're going to use the words would and will. Okay. Here we're going to watch a small video of how we can use would and will in a conversation. Hello everyone, I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the modal verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have yeah. blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay, so we can see first we have a little bit of conversation and they are at a restaurant, at, at a diner, and they're ordering food. Let's start first by looking at the words, okay? So as you can see, the waiter is being very nice. He asked, would, right? What kind of dressing would you like? Would you like a salad? Would you like anything? This is very common when you offer someone. So if you come to my house, I say, would you like some coffee? Okay, this is the normal. And the same for the answer. In the answer is very common to say, I would, when I request, I would like a large iced tea. Also, it's correct to say, I will have. Okay, so you can use, 
I would like, or you can use, I'll have. But when you offer, when you ask, is all you are going to ask, would. Okay. So let's look at the vocabulary. Are there any words you don't know? Um, kebab, kebabs. Kebab. Kebab. Kebab, kebab. Is kebab. The food, the food like a pincho, the pincho with meat. This is the kebab. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, lamb kebab is like a pincho de cordero. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Uh, teacher, what kind is que tipo, verdad? What type or what kind? That's correct. Is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's listen again for the pronunciation. Now listen to the model verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay. It's okay, the pronunciation? Yes. yes All right, yeah. so with our partners, then... Um, um, yes? Sure. Um, vinaigrette. And, uh, vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Correct, vinaigrette. Okay. Okay. Now with our partner, let's practice the conversation. So we're going to practice the conversation with our partners. And remember, two times, right? One time I am one person, the next time I am the other. One time the waiter, one time the contractions I've had, I have. Tell, sorry? The contractions I I have? Is I'll, is I will have, I'll. correct. I'll. I will, okay. the contraction is I'll. I'll, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions? No. No? All right. Then let's see, we have... with our partners. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on what you like to drink. I'd like a nice tea. Morena, I sent you to a group.
Okay. Let's take a look. Let's have two groups. Let's what kind of dress will participate? Let's listen. Who would like to be waiter and who would like to be the customer? Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin, the waiter and the customer. And me. Eugenia. <laughs> All right, Eugenia. Okay. Okay. With Desmond, I was. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, Edwin, go first. May I, may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mix of green salad. Okay, Why, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large ice cube, please. Okay, very good. Only we need to practice the contractions. Remember, it's I'd. I'd like. I like. No, I'd. no, I like. I'd. 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 Correct. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. Okay. Okay. All right. Like. Cecilia and let's see. Okay. Cecilia and Lourdes. Now you try. Okay. Uh, I will be the waiter. Okay, Cecilia. Okay, may I take your order? Please. Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay, very good job, excellent, very good. So now we understand how to make an order and request is to offer wood, okay? Or in wood, in this moment, we're going to use will and would for request. So here we're going to learn a little bit more how to use would and will, would and will for requests. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on would and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Okay. The important is here. This is the important that always in the question would, 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 would. And the answer is correct, would, but also is correct, will. If you use would, look, I would like, I would like, I would like, is not correct, I would have. The correct is I will, I'll have, or I'd like. Listen to the contraction. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. It's okay? Okay. Teacher. Okay. In, in the contraction, in the last phrase, no, thank you. That's be all. That'll, that'll, that'll correct. That'll, that'll, that'll be all. This is that will. Correct. That'll this is that all. will. Eso es todo. Eso es todo. That'll be all. Okay. 
All right, let's watch the rest of the video. We presented word and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using word to make requests. Word is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use word directly at the beginning of the question. Word plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay. Let's review a little bit. We pres First, let's check here. ¿Les quedó claro por qué usamos would en preguntas? Eh, teacher, no, no, no mucho. No, no, no. En, conjun en, en conjunto sí entiendo la oración, pero en sí, ¿qué es lo que significaría en la pregunta el would? Ok. Es un, es un IA. Yeah. Me, gusta, me gustaría. Eh, es una terminación. Es, se usaría, would you like, es te gustaría. Es la terminación. Es todo esto, te gustaría. ¿Qué? Yeah, yeah. Te gustaría. What kind of dressing te gustaría. Okay. What te gustaría tomar. Te gustaría algo más. Es would you like, es todo para te gustaría. Ok, sure. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Uh, no puedes ponerlo solo una palabra porque would es un modal verb y un modo significa que va a cambiar o va a tener varios significados en el contexto se utiliza para solicitar para ofrecer algo ¿okay? para poder decir te, me gustaría algo o te gustaría algo para eso usamos teacher yes what is the word else Sorry, what is the word? Else. Ah, it's something Dejera. more, anything no, more. What? More. Algo Adora, más. Okay. Anything more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. And so you can see we use in the question the example, would you? Like, entonces no piensan que would you, ah, no, es would you like, would you like y ofrecer lo que vas a ofrecer, would you like to eat something, would you like to drink something, would you like, y así es, would you like pupusas for dinner, ok, entonces es más fácil pensarlo como una expresión, would you like, en vez de palabra por palabra, en otro contexto vamos a verlo diferente, verdad, pero ahorita es would you like, te gustaría, estás ofreciendo. So, Maybelline viene a mi casa. Yo primero que le digo, would you like something to drink? Would you like soda? Would you like coffee? ¿Verdad? Ok. Y ahora, ¿cómo pedimos o cómo solicitamos algo en una forma amable? Yo no voy a decir, eh, dame. ¿Cómo digo? But would you... Ah, no. Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Okay. Can I have? Okay. 
tenemos para, mm. para ofrecerle a alguien, would you like? Pero si yo estoy pidiendo, no me ofrecieron, pero yo estoy pidiendo. Okay. Uh, may I have? Uh, I would. Correct. Las dos formas. I would like. Uh, o I would have. Vamos a ponerlo en contracción. I'd. I'd. Like, I'd, I'd, like. I'd like. O I will have. I will have. Entonces todo repite. I'd. 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 No tiene que terminar solo I. No I, 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 me duele. No. I'd. 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 Correct. I'd like. I'd like. And I'll have. Ok. I'd. Ahora viene la parte. Teacher, eso sería como un yo quisiera. Eh, más o menos. Me, me gustaría. Porque acuérdate que. ¿Te gustaría? ¿Qué más te gustaría? ¿Qué te gustaría? Es would you like. Ah, pero para pedir, sí siento que se escucharía como algo, no sé, quizás pesado. ¿El cual se escuchara pesado, Carlos? Eh, me gustaría, o sea, o sea, si nadie me ha hecho la pregunta. Ajá, entonces vas a decir I'd like. I'd like. Correct. I'd like okay. a coffee. I'd like a soda. Okay. Oh, I will have. Uh -huh. El más común es. Y, y es correcto. I'd like. Sure. Y el contexto este, I will have, así como el, es el me gustaría, ¿qué, es, ¿qué pasa a hacer con el I will have? Me da. Me da. Ah, ok. okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Yo escuché como que alguien más quería preguntar algo, ¿no? No, por ejemplo, decir, could you give me coffee? Is correct? Is correct. Could you give it's, me? It's another modal verb. Exacto, es otro modal. Could you give me coffee? Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Qué es la diferencia de lo que preguntó Cecilia y would? Cecilia está preguntando could, ¿ok? Cuando vos estás pidiendo la ayuda, vos estás pidiendo, entonces vas a usar could, pero cuando alguien está ofreciendo es would. Uh -huh. Entonces vos venís a mi casa, yo no te ofrezco nada, pero vos querés algo. Me vas a decir, could you give me some water? No, would you give me some water? Yo te ofrezco, would you like? No, could you like? ¿Ok? Tienen su función. Los dos son formal y amables, pero would, yo te ofrezco. Could, vos me vas a pedir. ¿Ok? All right. Entonces, en ese momento, ¿cómo sí, más? ¿Sí? ¿Y si me ofrece y yo no? Sí. No tenga pena, quien no sea, tenga... Digan, que si te ofrecen, ¿qué? Si me ofrecen algo, pero yo no, no, no quiero la forma más amable en contestar. No, thank you. No, así nomás. No, no thank you. No thank you. Correct, no thank you. Igual que en español, ¿verdad? No solo decimos no, no sí, sino que no gracias. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. No, eh, la respuesta Google, no. ¿Hm? I Google. No, no, normalmente no, solo a uh, eh, no, no, thank sure. you. How to write good. How do you write? Good. Good. Ok. Thank you. Ok, excelente. Bye. Entonces, ya que tenemos las reglas, lo que vamos a hacer, nos vamos a crear una conversación con el compañero, vamos a un restaurante, una pupusería, eh, Benigans, pizza, donde sea que les gusta y van a hacer que uno es el cliente y el otro es el mesero o mesera, ¿ok? The waiter and the customer, and the waiter and the customer offer, ask, ask, offer, I would like, I would like Pepsi, do you have, vamos a preguntar, hey, ¿quién tiene Fanta, tiene soda, tiene Coca-Cola, vas a Pizza Hut, ¿qué te van a ofrecer, Pepsi o Coca-Cola? 
ok, nadie va a Pizza Hut, va, me parece, ok, vamos a otro lugar entonces, vamos, 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 vamos a McDonald's, va. ¿qué te ofrecen en McDonald's? Pepsi o Coca-Cola. Pepsi. ¿Mm? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, Coca va, pero yo no quiero Coca-Cola, oh. yo quiero Pepsi, ¿cómo voy a preguntar? <risa> De eso se mm. trata la conversación, mm. de crear eso, no de quedarse como que ah, 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 vamos a ir a los Estados Unidos, vamos a ir de visita y ni, ni pedir una soda vamos a poder. No, hombre, no, hombre, no. Vamos a poner allí. Would you, could you, man? Uh -huh. Vamos a morirnos de sed, ni vamos a poder mm. pedir una coca. Vamos a tomar lo que no, no nos gusta. No, ok. So, would you like? Would I'd you like. like. I, mm -hmm. I'd like. I'll have. Y ofrecer would, ¿verdad? También podemos preguntar si tienen o no tienen. Do you? Ok. Do you have? Y lo que sea. Do you have Pepsi? Do you have Coca-Cola? Do you have? No lo estoy pidiendo. Estoy preguntando primero. Ok. Voy al el, el, el cafetín. Do you have pupusas? Voy al comedor, ¿verdad? Do you have... Eh, pupusas, ah, sí, sí, tenemos de arroz, frijoles, de queso, ah, I have beans, cheese, mix, ah, entonces, I'd like two cheese pupusas, one coffee, and three, ah, ah, ¿ya entendieron? En, cuando es esto de que pregunta qué hay, entonces la respuesta se puede ser, I will have, I will have fried chicken, or, y ofrecer lo demás, ¿verdad? Correct. Sí, so like we'll have. Correct. Okay. It's I'll have. I'll have. I'll have. Okay. Okay. You ready? Cinco minutos y después presentan. ¿Listos? Okay. Nadie tiene preguntas. Let's go. Eneida, you okay? All right. Carla, ¿qué pasó? Only me, teacher, in the room. Only you. <laughs> yes. Let's go to this one then. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Perfect. No questions? No. All right, let's listen. Uh, today we're going to start with Delmi and Stephanie. Okay. Delmi. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> okay. No lo terminamos, así que... It's okay, así que mejor, más okay. oportunidad de inventar. Okay. Okay. Usted comienza. Ah, vale. Good afternoon. Eh, welcome, Pizza Hut. I would like to order a pepperoni pizza. Okay. Would you like a palitroque in your order? Yes, I would like. Okay. I'd like pepperoni. Okay. Hasta ahí nos quedamos, teacher. Hasta ahí nos quedamos. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. ¿Cómo se dice palitroque en inglés? Bread. Correct, breadsticks, breadsticks. Okay. Y al final, acuérdense que I would like pepperoni. Le van a dar pepperoni, no están pidiendo una pizza. I would like a pepperoni y tienen que poner la palabra pizza. Pizza. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Good job, good, all right. Let's go with Daniel and Edwin. Okay. Hi, my name is Daniel. May I take your order right now? Yes, please. I like a hamburger. Well, what would you like to drink? I'll have a soda. I'll have a soda. Okay. What kind of soda would you like? What do you prefer? I like a Coca-Cola. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. What do you have for dessert? I will have I will have ice cream chocolate and vanilla cake. I'll have ice cream chocolate, please. Okay, I already bring your order. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Only dos. Eh, acuérdense, Edwin, I'd. La, la D tiene que ser fuerte. I'd. I'd like. Okay. And the other is the ice cream. For the ice cream is no ice cream chocolate. Is chocolate, chocolate ice cream. cream. Chocolate ice cream. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Good job, Daniel. Good job, Edwin. All right, Cecilia and Laura. Okay. okay. Good evening. What do you want to order? No. No. What do you uh, want? What? What would you like to order? Sorry. Good evening. What would you like to order? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to order uh, chicken soup. Okay. Do you want a small soup or a big soup? I, I'll have a big soup. A big soup. Okay. And would you like to drink soda, tea, or, or water? Um, do you have horchata? Yes. We have fresh horchata. Okay. Um, I like to drink a uh, big or chat. Okay. Do you want any dessert? Um, yes, I would like to dessert. We offer 
uh, three milks, uh, a coffee, coffee cake, and oh. a strawberry jelly. What what would you like to eat? I like a slice of three milks, please. Okay, would you like a cappuccino or an American coffee? It's free with your dessert. Oh, no, uh, just the horchata, it's okay. Just with the horchata, it's okay. Okay. Okay, very good, nice. Very long conversation, that's good. Excellent that you are asking many things. Remember, only is necessary the D, I'd, I'd, I'd like. I'd, I'd like. Mm -hmm. okay. I'd. Remember, is la D es importante porque si no dicen me gusta y no me gustaría, right? Is I'd like. I'd like. Oh, excellent. Okay. Tenemos tiempo para un grupo más, algún voluntario, alguna pareja que le gustaría pasar. Eso me llega. Sí, aprendemos inglés y así mejoramos. Uf, excelente. Me alegra que hagan el esfuerzo para practicar. All right. Para eso tenemos voluntarios. Ok. Let's select. Let me see. The next group is going to be Carlos Chacón, Carlos Membreño, and Fátima Virginia. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, calladitos. Okay, calladitos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, right. Vamos a empezar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, my name is my name is Fátima. Welcome to Nova Pizza. I build you. I'll be your way today. Uh, are you ready to order? Or do you need a few minutes? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to order. Uh, what do you want to drink? Um, what kind of drink do you have? Uh, we have lemonade, iced tea, soda, coffee, chocolate, beer. <laughs> I have, uh, I have, um, I have a beer, please. One beer uh, for Mr. Membreño and one beer for Mr. Chacon. Yes, please. And uh, please. What would you like to eat? We have pizza, uh, tomato soup, Potato cream, salad, lasagna, sandwich. Do you, okay, do you have mondongo soup? Mm, <laughs> yes, we have mondongo soup. I, Hot or, or medium <laughs> or warm? I, I have a mondongo soup, warm. Okay, we we will prepare your order in 30 minutes. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. That's it, Thank teacher. <laughs> That's excellent. That's very good. Excellent. Good job. Only the two is, remember, know what do you like to drink? What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? And no, I have is... I'll, I'll have, okay. Good job, excellent. Any questions? No? Ya se sienten cómodo con Woody Will? So, so deep. So, so, excelente. Ahora tenemos la práctica escrita de Woody Will. 3.11, 3.11 con el compañero, compañera. Vamos a completar la conversación customer and waiter usando Will or Wood correctamente.
Okay. Let's go. Stephanie, you okay? Stephanie? Okay. Everson, any questions? No, solo con el will que tengo un poco de dudas porque no sé en realidad cómo usarlo porque usted dice que I will have, yo pensé que I will have era tendré. No, me da. O voy a tener. No. Me da. Uh -huh. I will me have da. A, me da una soda. I will have a soda. I always have a soda. Ajá, uh -huh. I will have Ese a soda. Ese es preguntar, ¿usted me da? ¿Mm? ¿O cómo me da? Es que me da. Es como me dan ganas. No. De una soda. No, cuando alguien te ofrece, cuando vas a un restaurante, ¿qué le gustaría tomar? I'll have a soda. I'll have a soda, exacto. I'll have a soda. 
soda. I'll have a soda. Or I would like, I'd like a soda. Oh, yeah. Ya. Ajá, solo, era, solo, ajá, solo un poco de mi, tengo dudas en eso. Ok, pero ya te quedó claro. Sí, so, so. Ok, Ese, sí, me, me llega que significa no, pero está bien, ok. So, let's try, sí, but so, so, ok. Vamos a ver aquí. Waiter, what would you like to order? That good. What would, ok. What would you like to order? The customer have the fried chicken. I'll 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 have the, the fried chicken. Do you like rice or potatoes? Wood. 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 Okay. The customer I like I would like potatoes, please. Okay. The waiter, what kind of potatoes would you like? Like, like. like. would you like? Okay, good. The customer like mashed potatoes. Like I I I I I. Okay. The pronunciation is that be all for now. All or would would that be all for now? Say yes. Correct. Excellent. Okay. Hay alguien que no les quedó claro cuando usamos I'd or I'll. Si podemos ver siempre, but I'd, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. I'd or would, okay. I, I would like. like. I'd I like. Guess. Y con el will, ¿qué vamos a usar? I How. will. How. How. I will have. Muy bien. I will, mm -hmm. I will have. I will have. It's okay or no? Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. So now let's listen. Let's listen for the order. Okay. And we're going to look for Rex's order. And we're going to listen for Hannah's order. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh. What kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay. It's okay or one more time? It's okay. It's okay. All right. What is Rex's order? Coffee, one, one, two, one, and buy some apple pie. A piece of apple pie. Okay. First, okay. And Hannah's order? Sandwich, chicken sandwich, french fries, french fries, iced ice tea. Iced tea. Okay, let's see. Hey, excellent, excellent. Okay. Any questions? No, to check. No. no? No. Okay, perfect. Como pueden ver, ya finalizamos la unidad 3, que significa que mañana ya Mid. fue, yes, the midterm, correct, here is the midterm. En el midterm no es grupal, esto es individual, significa que ahorita solo les voy a explicar lo que consiste el midterm y después cada quien es responsable de completar su sección. Este es para ver qué tanto aprendieron o no han aprendido y necesitamos reforzar. 
in the first part, part A is listening. Okay, you listen and answer the questions. Le recomiendo escuchar primero y seleccionar lo que creen. Después escuchar nuevamente y confirmarlo. Y por último, ya poner sus respuestas. Ok, so escuchen primero y seleccionen. Después escuchen otra vez para ver si lo quieren cambiar. This is the listening. In part B, is only puts the words in the correct order. Aquí están todas las palabras. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta? You select which is the correct order for that. Okay. Simplemente busquen cuál es la orden correcta para todo eso. In part Dice que el número es. B. Letter. Letter, letter B. B. Letter B. Letter B. In letter C. You circle, only select the correct word, okay? Cir select the correct words. Simplemente leen y cuál es el vocabulario correcto para completarlo. Letter D, vamos a usar las modal verbs that should, shouldn't, or can't. Se tienen que acordar qué significa cada uno, leerlo y cuál es correcto. Should, shouldn't, or can't, okay? This is letter D, letter D. Letter E, ok. Tenemos los problemas médicos que vimos y cuál es la recomendación. The problem, the recommendation. The problem and the recommendation, ok. Only you look at the problem and give the recommendation. Number four, ok. Aquí estamos, lo que acabamos de ver, ok. Bueno, lo de ayer, the customer, and pharmacist, okay, y qué es lo que le recomienda el, la persona que está en la farmacia, al, okay, como una pequeña conversación, qué es lo que le va a decir la persona, la farmacia al cliente. And the last one is reading, okay, solo tienen que leer artículo y seleccionar lo que Mister, dice, en qué, Mister, yes, en, eh, este topic, eh, Esto es una propina. Correct. Propina o no propina. Ok. Pero no tiene nada que ver con lo que vamos a responder ahí. A responder. Porque, o sea, cierto. no coincide. Y yo lo puse en el Muy grupo, bien. pero no. Eh, o sea, no, no me lo corrigieron. It's a mí me pasó partir. igual. Porque habla de alguien que está enfermo. Ok. Es pues que creo que menciona de que también hay que este, mencionar como, como una recomendación de lo que debería de poner el escritor o algo así. Ok, correct. Ok, ahí lo pongo en el grupo para que ellos lo corrijan para el día de mañana. Ok. Ok. okay. All right. Perfect. Así que ya saben, ya pueden eh, empezar si quieren poquito a poquito, hoy un poquito, mañana un poquito y empezar con el midterm. All right. Teacher, okay. eh, verdad que este solo es una vez que se puede hacer. Perdón, Carlos. Que si solo una vez se puede hacer. No, 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 no. Se puede hacer las veces que necesita para sacar la nota mínima. Ok. Ok, guys. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night.